Uh, this one is Atlas Groundbreaking Adventures. Let me pull this up. This is a, uh, an action RPG with roguelike elements. Where you use your ability to control the ground to fight the enemies and move through procedurally generated worlds. I would hope they're procedurally generated if it's a roguelike. Um, I guess we're an earthbender now? That's cool. Um, immediately, like, this voxel style is making me think of Forager. Like, this is a uh, an isometric Forager. Oh, I can wind that up. Those are some nifty abilities. Oh, that, like, creates a bridge or something. Finally woke up. What do you mean? You don't remember anything? Of course not. I attacked while looking for food on this island. Those guys up there stole my ring. Also probably got looted or something. Like, how did you make the ground move? I- err. Okay, safely to the village. Okay. So, we have an objective. Reflective pearl found. <laughs> okay, we can't uh, can't actually go that far. Oop. This seems unreachable. Arr. Press X to create stairs. I guess that's unreachable, but this isn't. Okay. We have like a targeting system. <laughs> you know what? That worked. I don't think that was necessarily the, uh, the intended strat, but it worked. Okay, so we have a dodge. <laughs> Gave that thing a proper boop as well. Ah! Ah! Okay, that's... I don't want a uh, stairway. I want a bridge. Thank you. That looks like the captain's ring. I can't move that earth. I can move that earth. You guys, not even like, not even fussed by what's going down. Can I just, I can't smash your house. Yeah, those, those enemies were completely unfussed. <sighs> we get some distance. <laughs> we get some distance with these attacks. That's the, uh, the loop backwards. Like, there was a thing over here. I'm like, I'm wondering... It's like, this voxel engine is kind of interesting. I'm kind of wondering, like, if this was made with Foxatron or, like, something more custom. Did 
doesn't have a particular name, we just call it the village. That's weird and I have no idea why though. My controller is rumbling and won't stop. They resemble a somewhat extinct tribe lived up in the mountain. It's quite a risky place filled with monster. I personally think you're going to get your ass kicked, but hey, what do I know? There we go. Rumble has stopped. This isn't the first game that's done that. Uh, your power are incredible, and you make the ground move once more. Need five turtle eggs on the beach. Shark. That shark is wigging out. I don't have enough rings to do things. I don't know why that's all foggy as well. The rumble continues. The rumble stops. There's a turtle egg. There's some health. Suddenly we need the health. Her egg. Rawr. Bad jellyfish. I'm gonna boot you into the sea. Yeah, like this whole, like, building the bridges and all that, pretty cool. And after a point, it starts feeling really natural. Like, once, once you realize you have to give it a little distance, uh, come back here. Shiny coconut. I don't think I'm in the market for a shiny coconut, but I am now. I fell. I got hit. I knocked it over to another island. Also, I think I was taking hits in there and not actually taking damage? Maybe? I will say, so far I don't feel super inclined towards doing combat. Like the, uh, the exploration stuff feels fun enough on its own. I'm just like making my way through the world. What the heck are you? Can I earthbend you? No. I can shoot you though. Like a hermit crab or something that sent out psychic shockwaves as I got too close. So there's that. Ah, more psychic hermit crabs. That it's burping at me. We have enough turtle eggs, but finding more. I'm not really, I'm not necessarily feeling the roguelike elements. I mean, it might be procedurally generated and all, and there might be permadeath. Uh, it's almost feeling more like a voxel monster hunter in a weird way. 
Yeah, it is a nice color palette. It is nice and bright and all of that. Uh, is that a ghast? Are we Minecraft now? Uh, I shouldn't have shot that. I'm gonna do the thing where I leave. If y'all don't mind, I'm just gonna, just gonna run away. Yeah, because I'm kind of doing the die in here. Bridge, please. Thank you. It only gives you one slice. Oh, that's a mighty enemy as well. You can tell there's a big old boy there. What a plank found. some heals. The screen shake is a little much. The rumble also is uh, a little overbearing. Hello. Clearly not meant to be sophisticated. A sword that looks familiar. It's a familiar sword. I'll take that. I didn't really expect there would be a shop here. That was a little surprising. Um, it makes sense that there would be. I feel like if we leave the beach, like we're not gonna be able to come back. Like there's some of your roguelike aspect. So do kind of like how it handles the map in all this. Um, again, overbearing rumble. There is a lot of rumble. Uh, why are you alive? Okay, we're no longer alive. I am almost not alive. Retreat, retreat. Retreat. What a plank. Yeah, we're getting the, uh, the aggressive shallow rumble again. Oh, I woke you up. Distance though. Wall. Yeah, this is actually working really easily. There we go. A lot of money. A wood plank. Yeah, like walk into a shot there or something. Gotta be careful. Oh, we got it. Coconuts. It's a very dramatic death and all of that. Oh, I'm at a lower elevation. A heal. More heals, more shiny coconuts.
it is occasionally a little tricky to uh, to keep a sense of what's going on. Um, very easy to just knock enemies the hell away. Like, I'm guessing the idea behind the Barbarian Sword is a lot of knockback. Full health again. I'm just gonna kill everything. Because it looks like we can tell on our map where everything is. Which, yep, there's one more super baddie. Actually, very easy to kill. So there's that. We have a lot of money now. Large swaths of wealth. A treasure chest. Just some monies. Bloop. <laughs> Blooped. There we go. More turtle eggs. We only needed five. We have like ten now or something. Something a little ridiculous. Don't don't tuba me. It's killing me with tuba. <laughs> Ooh, all the other enemy just took its own life. Tragic, but also hilarious. Here's where all the HP is. Nothing out here. It's like one last bit. In the opposite corner. And then we're done with the beach. I mean, personally, I have no desire to be murdered by Tuba. And you have to describe it as murdered by Tuba. Like, it is definitely someone's will when that happens. A Tuba is not going to incidentally kill you. I can't seem to climb. Ah. I became very stuck in that scenario. I may have killed everything here now. Yeah, I think that's the entire... Excuse me, the entire map. There we go, we have completely plundered. Back to the village. With our considerable amount of money. A lot of turtle eggs. Uh, where'd all our money go? Why am I getting a, uh, a conversation prompt where there's no one to talk to? Oh, you. 
I can only improve power. Oh, there we go. Why did that cost 300? When it's only saying 100. Now it says we have zero, uh, zero money, even though we do still have money. I feel like that's the main problem with this right now. Like it, the gameplay loop is nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it, but it is clearly a little bit buggy. Um, again, the rumble being incessant and inconsistent is a, uh, a physical showing of it. And then just like little quirks probably because of the voxel engine. Like, those are a little tricky to, uh, to get right. The game might be frozen. The game is not frozen. Uh, when, when you're doing things that, like, manipulate the world with a voxel engine, which is, like, one of the main appeals of them, like, having that capability, Is this a puncher? No, but it's dead anyway. <laughs> I feel like the barbarian sword isn't hitting right. No. I feel like that's going to be a puncher, considering how impressive it looks. That's not punch, that's splish. That's punch. There's a puncher. Okay. So let's not worry so much about the splishers. Worry more about the punchers. I was like, this world border makes total sense for a mine. So I'm like, not, not about to judge it. Like for the beach, having the, uh, having the ocean made sense. And for the mines, having just a rock wall also makes sense. just couldn't splish me. Yeah, we can still, like, shove around its corpse. Unsure. Sure. Like, did this have to be, like, voxel-based? Maybe not. But I think it is working in that way. Um, I just think it is introducing some of the bugs and the wonkiness that we're seeing, so... So there is that. Puncher! Puncher, no punching. That's three of them. Yeah, I get the sense uh, each level is just gonna be here's your one mission. Go do it.
It's a very confused set of pickups. <laughs> The shop. I am very buried. Here we go. Ah, uh, another splisher. The shopkeeper does not seem fussed by the monsters. One more puncher. If you have a whole new harp and not, will not fix the one she broke. I'll take the heal. I don't trust that I'm going to find another one soon enough. I probably will, but don't trust it. Very long bridge. I'm enjoying just going around and smashing stuff. I'm not enjoying when the bridge doesn't cooperate like that, or when the ramp doesn't cooperate. Bad ramp. There we go. Steel found. So that's another, like, it seems like each stage has a few possibilities for what you have to do. And for this one, like, gathering enough steel would be a possibility. Like in the other one, there was the uh, the coconuts and the wood planks. I guess we did find enough health. Yeah, we found enough health. I wasted my money. Oh well. Here's a puncher. It punched me. <laughs> Dispose of the body. Didn't really dispose of it, but okay. There we go. Yeah, this seems like it might have a certain, like, Monster Hunter kind of gameplay loop. Uh, which, in that case, it's going to need a good number of, like, upgrades and options and whatnot. And actually, I don't know if the, uh, the roguelike conceit or idea means that once you die, everything's over, or if it's just about it being procedural. I should go get punched in the face and find out. Just, just for our information's sake. Quick, someone beat me up. Right, have at me. Start. See where, what kind of environment it drops us into. Do 
we lose all our gear. We certainly are going to lose all our coins. I wouldn't expect otherwise. Yeah, we, uh, we lose our gear. It still counts our quest as complete. Uh, lost our upgrade. Definitely feel, like, underpowered. Now. You get screen shake even in the menu. Um. Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll call that one there. Feel like we gave it enough time. Um. Yeah, it's definitely not a roguelike. Uh, it is an action RPG with roguelike elements. It really, by that it means the procedural generation and losing progress when you die. Um, which is like substantial elements of a roguelike, so okay, that's fair. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I feel like the whole, like, earth-bending, earth-shifting stuff, that was an interesting approach, an interesting mechanic. A uh, little buggy here and there, but it mostly worked. Uh, I feel like, broadly speaking, the game's issues are just little bugs. Uh, things like the rumble not stopping. Uh, or the vo like voxel engine stuff that is somewhat common. Uh, including, like, the, uh, the loading taking a while. Voxel engines can be a little, like, surprisingly intensive. Uh, depending on how much you're simulating the world. Um... I don't know how, personally, I don't know how I felt about when you die, you lose all of your progression, including like your upgrades. I feel like maybe that stuff should be permanent and you lose your gear, but I don't know how much, like how, how many ideas of gear there are. Is it just your weapon? Are there going to be like armors and whatnot? Uh, so I'm like, uh, I'm not too sure on that, on that gameplay balance. Uh, but it did make sense. Like, it, uh, it introduces a decent amount of, like, higher stakes. Having those, having those roguelike elements and that harsher punishment for death. Uh, 